Hello, and welcome to uh, ICBM. It'll take probably a minute for it to show up on the uh, OBS. Uh, yeah, so here's the thing. Uh, I wanted to do a different stream tonight. Um, I didn't actually plan on doing this game. Um, what I had planned, which was way more awesome, I uh, couldn't get to download on Steam right. It seems as though every time I try to download this game or on Steam or, or try to remove it on Steam or something, it, it always tends to crash Steam. Or, or it just stops downloading halfway through and I, I don't know why it doesn't work. Um, but anyways, if I can get that game to work, I will probably do a stream on it tomorrow night if I'm not doing something with Raptor. But that is the plan. Um, it is a great game. It, it's a game by uh, Microprose, um, who is an amazing uh, publisher, not necessarily a developer, but publisher. Um, so hopefully I can get that game up and you guys can see that because it's getting a new update. Your intern, my interns are ready. Uh, yes, I'm going to be playing some ICBM today. This is a game I really like. I love the music. I love the, the style of gameplay. Uh, I loved DEF CON, but I wish there was more to it, and this game delivers on that more to it. So, um, I'm going to be jumping right in here. I'm only going to be doing single player stuff at, right now. Oh. Um, and, and I do have a mod enabled. The only mod I have enabled is a uh, Coastal Missile Battery, which is like... It gives you some some sh naval defense, I guess, if you don't have any navy, which uh, is kind of important in this game. How you guys doing? I see all you guys are uh, dropping in. Oh, thanks, Mongo. I, I try, I try. I know. Uh, I, I was just I was just disappointed because I uh, I was sitting there downloading this game since like I think eight, no, like seven thirty. I've been downloading this game. Got to about eighty five percent and it stopped downloading so i was like uh oh, what is this so i changed i tried changing stopping the download it crashed steam and uh after it crashed steam it it, it completely corrupted the download entirely so it was just it, and then when i tried to remove the game it crashed steam again <laughs> so uh i'm trying my best to get that game out because because it is a game that i really enjoy so i'm uh I really want to, you know, play it with you guys because you know I play it. It's gonna be something like Insurgency, so you guys will, you'll, you guys will probably like it. Um, but it's good to see y'all, Randy, uh, Homan in the chat, Gresham. Nice to see some regulars in here, and uh, Sir Frank. All my interns are are ready to go. He he's in BMD. Oh, okay. That is pretty cool. And that's ballistic missile defense, right? I, am I saying that right? Because uh, uh, I, ho I hope I am. So uh, the way this game works is you can either play this multiplayer and with up to a lot of country, each each person can play one of these nations if we play multiplayer. Uh, maybe I'll do a game with some of you guys if you guys have this game. Uh, I'm definitely not playing on hard, even though I could do it. Um, it, it requires you to do a lot of uh, snailing or turtling or whatever if you want to play on hard uh but anyways uh i'm gonna play i typically like in this game to play as south america because you only have one real close threat and the other ones are kind of at a distance uh, but i'll try to cover i'll try to play just about everything you can do in this game and just kind of show it up uh, i'd have to say the hardest nation to play or the hardest area to play in this game is uh, the Pacific, just because of all those islands, um, you have to do a dual naval and uh, ballistic missile defense kind of setup, and, and you can get um, easily overwhelmed there. Oh, you think I'm cool? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I try my best. I try my best, Gary. Thank you for stopping by. And I try my best to read all your guys' chats when I can, if I'm not too... Uh, too focused but um yeah if any of you have this game i might try to do some sort of like uh maybe co-op thing with some of you i'm not much of a pvp person i hate oh, there's a lot of games i hate pvp in some things are manageable like hell at loose um 
right? I don't really mind the PvP because it's just like it's kind of cool. It's just a, like large open warfare or, or Verdun, but like things like uh, Battlefield's okay. COD I I can't do. Um, games like this I I can't do. Uh, but so I mean maybe I'll do like a, some co-op games with y'all in the future if you guys are interested maybe even Project Zomboid if you guys get that um, so I'm gonna set the available points to 1720 for everyone in the game so what that means is that we just every faction including my own all the AIs including myself also get like double the points to to get starting stuff with so I mean it just makes for a more interesting open opening um, one of the things I typically get right at the beginning with my points is Sam's, just because, <laughs> um, if you don't have Sam's, uh, it's pretty bad. Sam's also act as, uh, ABMs if you have the ABM, um, anti-ballistic missile defense, uh, tech unlocked. So the way this game works is there's, uh, there's actual units, including the bombs themselves, that you have to produce with production, and then there's techs, too, that you have to... And each, each of these texts gives you something unique. Um, most satellites kind of just go across the map um, and give you vision wherever they're at. ABM, ballistic missile defense, um, space radar lets you see satellites in orbit, and uh, so on. So um, I typically go with a SAM just to begin, and then, um, then I just kind of decide on some sort of build I'm going to do. Um, I think uh, instead of going... Instead of going South America, I'm going to show off what I do with um, just standard MRBMs and stuff, which is kind of fun. So I'm going to do some SAMs, MRBM, and what we'll do is we will get uh, some SAM sites, an airbase, a couple radars to start. Uh, what else? So we don't have the... Yeah, we don't have the missile vehicle, so we can grab that. Then we'll have a few missile vehicles to start with. All right, and we'll just grab a fighter to top it off. So this is what we're starting with. Uh, War games, the movie, shall we play a game? Ooh, in one of my favorite voices. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's start this. I might play some Steel Division maybe sometime too, but Steel Division isn't something that I'm really good at. I'm good at, yeah, you saw me play with the Raptor when I did uh, War Game Red Dragon, but that's just because I was focused on a small area and I was able to manage it. I can't really do that over large areas as, as well. I have a friend though that's really, really good at things like steel division but uh let's see if we can cover our more vulnerable places so the, uh, uh, the bigger the dots the more population they have you can also like kind of hover over them um so if you're just playing like basic uh if you take population hits it actually reduces your production and, and such so um it's actually important to protect your biggest cities and then um yeah i got 40 to go I, i'm pretty close my watch time's almost at 3,000 now, too. Uh, after I did, um, what was it? That train game that we did. I did, um, what was it? I only had like 200, 200 views after that game. And then, uh, that train game, I, I just looked at the, I just looked at the analytics today. I had over 600 views on it. And I got over 400 views of just people you know watching it after raptors so it was pretty insane you know icbms are tracked by heat signatures till they leave the atmosphere where they are cooled dramatically then they're tracked by satellites using cold stare let's play thermonuclear war <laughs> yeah uh, so we're gonna want a radar here on that border, a radar on this border here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some like naval stuff in here. Uh, I just need to make some destroyers, but I have the game paused so I can set my stuff down. But this gives us an early advance, first strike advantage if we wanted it. So it was actually probably bad for me to go with missiles right off the bat because I could have bought more Sams, a lot more Sams to start with. 
and radars. But this gives me, if I just build a couple medium uh, ballistic missiles, this helps out. But if any of you have any like questions about the game, just shoot them to me in the in the chat. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Like any any of the UI or anything like that, just shoot me a question about it. Yeah, I know the Icarus. Icarus literally just YouTube killed the stream, and I. Don't, it's because my bit rate went down, um, and I, fi I, I think I figured out the problem. See, um, I live in an apartment above a garage across the driveway from my parents' house. So I live in an apartment separated from my parents' house, and so they have the router over there, and I have a tether, like a Linksys tether, or um, a Linksys mesh network plugged into their router, and then the second node that my, my tower is connected to is over here, like where I'm at. And that's how I'm able to get the speeds I can at, at the distance that we are so far away from each other, uh, from the router. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do the streaming thing with you guys. So uh, what happened was one of the breakers in the garage, when someone was working in it, they, they shut one of the breakers off, which ended up shutting this node off you know, over here. And I didn't notice because it's a mesh network. So your computer connects to the closest one. So that, that's why it was lagging behind where it dropped the stream. I mean, it was able to keep it up surprisingly for a long period of time, but that's why I dropped the stream uh, when we played Icarus. And I think I had a few frame drops on a couple other games too. So um, it's all set now. I moved the, the node to another outlet. So uh, let's get into this. So first things first, I want to get... Uh, ABMs, and then we will do over the horizon radars. Yeah, so I just went into a huge explanation for all of you on why uh, why my stream died. Whoops, I think I just hit the Windows key by mistake. Don't want to do that. All right, we're gonna build lots of Sams, lots of Sams. Actually, wait, we need to build a couple destroyers first. So if we can build a couple destroyers, we can be absolute menaces. Uh, let's see, so this thing is going to stop the timer every single time it spots like an enemy unit or, or a nuke or something. So I'm just going to set this in nuclear war mode so it doesn't pause the game every single time I something shows up on the radar. But what we're going to do is we're going to set this destroyer here so it land strikes that naval strikes this radar we're just gonna play absolute menace with with europe stuff and we can't engage that yet we will but we can't yet we don't have enough sams up and i just waterlocked that destroyer all right i have destroyers here this is a terrible spot. This guy's if uh if they built a uh an airbase, this is gonna die, most likely. All right, uh, sand production has begun. So get a few feet worth of cable. We I tried that, but and it spanned it over the driveway. So I I'm on the second floor, spanned it from the. Oh, I lost the structure. Oh, I destroyed a structure? Where was the structure destroyed? SAM site destroyed. Oh, I lost a SAM down here. What? Yeah, I had one like right here. I lost one. Alright, uh, so that means there's an enemy ship here somewhere. Uh, probably a fleet, which will just get this destroyer killed. Yep, see, they're fighting that right there. So if I put more SAMs down, this is actually probably going to hurt my SAMs a bit. The ABM will hopefully overwhelm the amount of missiles they're firing. Yeah. So that fleet, um, it's not doing good. So we'll send this destroyer in to fight it. And there we go. So, so as I was saying, well, we tried doing the cable thing, uh, but it ended up getting snapped off by the roof of a boat. 
because we have a lot of boats going in and out of our driveway. Uh, so, I mean, you can write that down, Brad Lore, if you'd like. Uh, lots of boats. Um, but it ended up snapping the cable. I, I, it did work for a while, but again, this is also a temporary solution for me. I'm not living here forever. Um, with this job opportunity, I might be uh, moving to Texas here soon. But I'll have to go to Chicago for f four months of training. So if I want to keep streaming, I'm going to have to invest in like a, a gaming laptop and stream from not so great places to keep up. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, you know, not not going to be able to do it, which I enjoy doing it with all of you. And so um, that's going to be something I'm going to have to do as soon as I get there. The reason why these also have exclamation points is because I don't have an over horizon yet built, but I'm about to unlock it. So. Which means they just don't have good uh, sight. Uh, so I'm trying to get a ramp tower job for United. These aren't actually gonna, these are too spaced apart to actually really give much protection here, so. The job pays well though, so it'll make it so I can do more gaming stuff with you guys. Yeah, but the problem is when I'm record, if, yeah, I've thought, I've thought about doing recordings, but the problem is with the recordings, it requires me to do editing, um, because then people have a higher standard for, for recordings than, than they do with like a live stream where I also I don't get to interact with you guys and, and, and have fun with you guys live and uh, that makes a lot of the experience for people is me you know talking to you hello Chuck no let's play let's play global thermal nuclear war <laughs> The reason why I'm putting so much SAMs here is because when nuclear war actually kicks off, the amount of saturation from these countries is going to be insane. I just lost a destroyer, too. Uh, but also, I'm putting a stack of SAMs there because of the airbase, but uh, I'm going to start just focusing on cities now. This, uh, this is like. This isn't necessarily just overkill because you gain, you lose points if you lose people, you gain points if you nuke other people in the basic of this game. So so you w don't want to lose anybody in a, sen in a sense. It's not good to lose people in thermonuclear war. Yeah, but 20 minute video, like I've talked to Raptor about it. And it's, it's just not something that would be up my alley when it comes to YouTubing stuff. I I've, I've thought about doing it before, but it's just, I, I don't, I don't, I barely have enough time to do it in the first place. And, like, just streaming alone, and, and the amount of extra time, I've talked to Red, I've talked to Raptor and stuff, the amount of extra time I'd need to do editing, to bring down to 20 minutes would, wouldn't be worth it. The reason why I do, oh, I lost another ship somewhere. The reason why I do streaming is because I like interacting with you guys. And if I can't do that, then I'm not going to do it. Like, like th that's the whole point of me doing it, is so I can interact with you guys, have fun with you guys, and... Oh, I'm not researching or producing anything. I might have just hosed myself. I have not been... <laughs> oh no, I haven't been researching anything for this entire game. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna turn that off for now. <laughs> God, you guys got me distracted. I'm gonna die now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no, not really. I, I should be fine, but um, we want this and that and more Sams. Actually, no, destroyers would be better now. Lots and lots and lots of destroyers. And, and maybe a cruise, a couple cruisers. 
If I could get advanced Sams after these, then we'll be good. Um, now, this is not nearly enough missile vehicles. Looks like a stressful game. It's, it's not. It, it's pretty fun. Uh, but it's going to pause every single time I have something ready to deploy, so I need to undo that. But if I engage this airbase just in range. Oh, oh, oh. Retreat to the SAMs, and I lost the ship. We'll do that again. Try to bait out the other. Can I hit that? I can hit that. Dude, they're. <sighs> Shoot. <laughs> Thanks, chat. <laughs> Distract, Brad. All right, we're gonna go engage this enemy stuff. Because that's... All right, we're going to go up into here. We need advanced SAMs, because advanced SAMs would prevent us from dying like that with our destroyers. Unit reaches destination. Airbase. Detected. Destroyed. Detected. All right, how... Okay, we need to do advanced SAMs. And then we'll start going to new technology. And we'll play a couple a couple games. I, I kind of just got di di uh, got uh, distracted there with the, uh, the internet thing. It... And I mean, when I, when I have my own place, it's going to be better. Because it's not going to be me having to share and, and everything. It's just going to be me on the network. So means better better streams for you also i'll also be able to afford like a actual decent streaming setup where i'm not using just one monitor because <laughs> that's also something that's hurting me right now because because when that icarus like bug happened and and everything where i couldn't close the screen screen um yeah those advanced sams are holding me back now if i had those advanced sams man advanced to sam uh, and we'll do maneuvering missile. Hello, Cassie. Hello. One of the thing is, I sit with my phone with the thing live on my, like with the chat live and everything up on my phone to the left. So I can't get, oh, I forgot I have auto deploy. So I can't reliably get an actual number of how many people are in here um, because of that. Which is sad that I can't get, but that's just the way I have to do it. I have to like close out of the stream on my phone and re-enter it to see how many people are actually here. Uh, I can't believe I lost all the ships to that, but all those planes should be gone now. But we are harassing Europe, so they can literally do absolutely nothing, which is good. Uh, but now, what we want to do... Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. Alright, cancel order. Um, move that way. So, this is an enemy airbase, which will kill me. I don't have Tomahawks, so I can't outrange the airbases. Yes, you can't group ships in into a fleet uh I'll, i'm getting cruisers now uh you can group them all together yes so i can get carriers and such as well but i need those miss those extended range missiles so i can actually fight those air bases and then on the next one we will get we have well we can't do icbm vehicle we can but i can't you know what? We, we're gonna have to, because I see BM vehicles important. Yeah, see now I have this cruiser protecting this destroyer, which makes absolutely zero sense, but it, it, it just works. Uh, we need to have a massive screen here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can just barely outrange them now. The airbase. There we go. Do 
you know that in war games they got defcon backwards instead of one two three they had four five they had five four three two one i didn't know that um also another thing um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something i completely i just completely forgot about it <laughs> wait they just built an airbase right in front of the cruisers and stuff why? Oh, I have no air. I have zero air protection. Dude, look at all these air bases. I'm gonna get bombed. <laughs> I'm gonna totally get bombed. I need more Sams, otherwise I'm I'm gonna die. <laughs> of course, you just blew up that. It looks like everyone's making bombers, so. All right, production complete. We're going to make lots more missile vehicles. 30. Like a mass strike like anybody. A countdown. Now entering DEFCON 1. Yeah, I keep losing these ships over here. I thought they'd be better, but I guess not. Maybe not. I, I Sometimes I do good with them, sometimes I don't. Seems like it just depends. With these scuds, which absolutely look like scuds, I'm feeling very Iraq-like right now. <laughs> you need to get more America in India, though. Oh, you mean more planes? Like F F-22s? F F-22 Raptor? Sir Raptor? If I don't get more if I don't get more air defense, Delhi's getting bombed. Because look at all this. They have so many air bases that this is ridiculous. Um, but the next thing we are gonna go with is satellite, and then we're gonna move everything into production. Actually, satellite with advanced optic. See, we just kind of have overwhelming firepower right now. Uh, the only people we probably can't hit is by far the United States, because just because they're on the opposite side of the world, uh, and South America. But what we'll do is we'll do we'll do some mobile Sams and be very Iraq-like. A lot of America? Yeah. It is a lot of America. Well, that was a... Dude, that was stealth jets. That was a stealth jet right there. They have advanced... They have stealth technology. Okay, well, I really need Sam's now. Or just overwhelming firepower. Which looks like I'm starting to get more overwhelming firepower of Sam's. I'm gonna literally have to attack China and and all this just because of the amount of well they have stealth stealth jets and I have barely any Sams on my border so um, all right this research is over so we'll s move it all into production. See the slider allows me to control which one is more important. Uh, so we actually need that and then lots of missiles. Oh wait. Like a couple hundred, maybe like 200. And then we'll do 50 ICBMs and we'll do ICBM vehicles. Oop, they're auto delaying. Nope, don't auto delay. I have nothing to hit Europe with. That's my only one to hit Europe. Dude. <laughs> all my all my Sams are just in one spot. <laughs> Cause of those airbases. Those airbases are gonna kill me. I'm not using subs now. 
I, I can use subs, but they're just it. Oh, enemy destroyer destroyed. Enemy destroyer destroyed. Um, also, now that you said subs, that's something I kind of need to worry about. Because if they have anything offshore, I don't have any destroyers out there to sit and try to find it. Or shoot it down. Alright, well, watch me get absolutely bombed here. I might just have to do a strap first strike and just hit all these air bases. Uh oh, uh oh, nuclear war's happening. Uh, okay, uh. Mobile Sam's cancel, 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 cancel. Uh. Move up. Uh, no. Make as many nuclear bombs as possible. Strike plan. Missile vehicles. Target all enemy air bases. Uh, actually, wait. Yeah, target all enemy air bases. Oh, enemy nuclear missile inbound. Okay, nuclear war mode. Oh, they have Mervs! No, they have Mervs! No! It's over! Alright, uh... We need to... Execute... Strike plan! Wait, edit. Did I do ice... I thought I did missile vehicles. Engage. Fire! Alright. All air bases destroyed. Edit. Oh wait. Cancel. Cancel strike plan. Edit plan. SAMs, radar facilities, secondary cities, timed attack, over... Wait. Edit plan, allow overkill. <clears throat> Fire! <laughs> South America, dude. What did South America do? <laughs> City has been oh, oh. Okay, apparently I've been bombed. Okay. Well, South America decided they want to to. Well, it looks like Russia's got their Tsar bomba out there. <laughs> Nuclear launch detected. <laughs> I'm out of missiles. And I got, I got, oh no, I got like seventh, sixth, seventh, yeah. Ouch, I got, I got hurt there. All right, well, I think that was because I went with a build that I usually didn't do. I don't ever make die CBM vehicles straight away out of here. So we'll do um we'll do what I normally do. Uh alright. Uh first one in chat to name one of these sectors that I haven't done yet, which uh isn't West Af Asia. Choose any one of them. I'll I'll do it. And I'll if it's Pacific I'll probably lose. Choose any. Choose any of them. First person. Research this time? Yeah, I need to research. <laughs> Someone pick a state? USA? Okay. I don't typically play them, but I'll do it. For you. For you, Operation Restore Hope. I will do it for you. South Carolina. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we could just go straight missiles and no defense this time. I mean, we could just straight up nuke everyone with some, like, high efficiency Mervs. Just make ICBMs for the whole game. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's MRBM, ICBM. Uh, I could do some SAMs, SAM. This saves me from having to do the technology later, so it saves, actually does give me a time reduction. 
Uh, uh, actually, I don't need to do ICBM right away. We're gonna get, we're gonna. Wait, I already have like 10. Uh... Alright, we'll do that. And then grab like a, I don't know, a destroyer to go wreak havoc somewhere. Two destroyers. All right, this looks fine. United States, here we go. Did someone order freedom? Satellites? Uh, satellites are good because they literally just cycle the globe in a in like a. Uh, I guess like maybe I can do some. Also, if you you can get like a really late game upgrade that gives you a laser, so you can like destroy warheads in route with it which I feel like that I think that's a real technology that's being implemented somewhere or maybe it's theoretical that hasn't been implemented anywhere I'm talking out of my mind uh, these destroyers are just literally to wreak havoc on South America but we will do Mexico City because in New York Mexico City is actually the biggest city we get, which is weird, because I'm pretty sure New York is the biggest city in North America. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty, pretty certain. Uh, we'll just do Singular Sam's. Los Angeles can chill on their own. Anchorage. I actually really want to go to Anchorage sometime. We're doing this because we're going to put an anti ship missile here, anti ship missiles on either side of there. Uh, one right here, uh, one right here, which will probably die to. A oh, wait, I have the bearing straight. Oh, okay, we need to make radar. Four SAMs and well, we don't have ABM. We just need like basic level ABM. <laughs> basic level ABM, and then we're gonna go straight. Uh, heavy rockets with some MIRVs. Yeah. Heavy rockets will allow us to hit anywhere on the planet. Second Amendment home defense nuke. Oh, dude, what, what's going on here? Looks like I'm wrong. No comment. New York baby in the house. Ooh, Sir Art is from New York. Largest police force in the world. I can believe that. Don't you have like a multi-billion dollar budget for the police force there? Lived in Anchorage for 10 years. I highly re recommend you head up. You heading up there for a visit in June or July. Ooh, okay. I might have to do that. I want to. I want to. All right, we're gonna own this bearing straight because Europe and them are gonna try to get through here. Europe and uh, actually, wait, I don't think. Yep, they can all get through here. So we're gonna we're gonna embargo. This is our straight. We're gonna embargo it um, with our man. Yes, sir. I need to get a radar and Sam's up here though with ABM. No, I lost a coastal missile battery. Fire! Destroy it! Oh, okay. I don't have ABM, so they literally just couldn't shoot down the missiles and coming from the destroyer. Alright, we'll move this one from Anchorage down here. This is a cool thing about vehicles. Anything that's a vehicle can be moved. Oh wait, 
move. Uh, <laughs> Hello, I subbed to you and got you some subs. I was just in Red Viking stream and they got me from 71 to 82 subs. I'm so happy. Yeah, sure. Uh, not Nathan. Thank you for dropping in. That's well appreciated. Thank you, sir. Uh-oh. Okay, we need more. We lost a Sam here. Uh, this destroyer is about to meet its end. Yep. It's dead. <laughs> Alright. The Sams are needed up here for the bearing straight. I can actually turn it into globe mode, so if you guys want to see, look, globe mode. Look at this. So it is actually a globe, that's why the, the like if I go here, the Sam's look weird and it's all stretched out. When I place it down, see, look, it looks like that, but when I put it in globe mode, it's actually a circle. Thank you, Not Nathan. Yeah, you have a good day too. Maybe you guys should check out uh, Sir Not Not Nathan after after the stream's over. Sounds pretty cool. And now I'm not producing anything. Okay, what do we need to be producing? What can we produce? We can produce destroyers to screw with someone. Because I'm going offensive this game. And I don't have the actual ICBMs yet, so... I don't know, we could get, just go destroyers to screw with people. Uh, I don't have anything else I can do other than maybe make SAMs to be a nuisance or coastal missile batteries. You know what, I'll make a fleet, because why not? I'll make a big fleet. Big fleet. Yeah. The second amendment refers to guns, not weapons of mass destruction. Uh I don't know. You can get a you can get a, a literally working a working tank with a working gun for just two hundred dollar tax stamp. Technically. If we're gonna speak technicalities here. That is legal for a private citizen to own in the United States. Research complete. Okay, the destroyer destroyed needs to go away. Oh right, I need to build over the horizon, otherwise I'm these Sams are are terrible. Yeah, cruisers are. Uh they actually have in this game they have over the horizon radar. If you have it researched. So a lot of the ships will gain a lot of the research researches that affect your land stuff. Like like the destroyers will get advanced SAMs and ABMs and stuff. Where the, where the cruisers will actually have over the horizon. So they'll be able to see the missile, missiles coming. Um, I don't know if that's their actual um, use. And they probably also have anti, uh, or, uh, anti ballistic missile defense on cruisers as well. Here's our carrier, so we will hold Alt to follow. All right, so we now have our fleet centered around the carrier, classic U.S. style for uh, Sir Hope in the chat who wants some U.S. freedoms. All right. Uh, as I wait for ICBM to be researched, so I can just mass stack ICBM launchers all over the United States and Canada and Mexico. Oops. Technically an RPG is just a big bullet till it explodes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so these cruisers are gonna be finished up and then we will start our building process. It's a lot of ICBMs. I don't even think I'll be able to make all those in this in that period of time. 
Also, we still have to get Mervs and this over the horizon. Uh, Mervs will help us a lot. Oops, uh, I guess we're not getting over the horizon. Nope, uh, I'm not getting over the horizon. Whatever to that noise. We're getting rid of this destroyer and start making ICBM silos right now. Also, we have a negative penalty to this because of our warhead production efficiency. This is, goes, as the game goes on and more warheads are built, this efficiency goes up. So the more warheads that are built, the faster this goes up to 100%, which makes them really cheap. Or anything that launches, I have CBMs really cheap. Okay, that needs to stop. This first missile silo will be in Mexico. Thermonuclear bomb. So we're gonna heavy rockets and MIRVs. If we do get satellites with advanced optics, I believe you only need 11 to cover the globe in this game. So 11 or 12, if you do it properly. Which I'll show you how to do it in a way that's most effective. Though if someone has ASATs, they'll just shoot them down. I mean, people can, there is, you can play defensively in this game but you just don't win nor lose, technically. Anyone going mudding tomorrow? Is anyone in chat going mudding tomorrow? Sir Kebab Man would like to know. Near the Great Lakes? Yeah, I shall. I want them as spread out as possible, one, because uh, nuclear bombs in this game can hit multiple targets if they're close together. Uh, two, it gives me a varying ability to hit other people. Um, see, without the heavy uh, heavy rockets, I can't hit the other half of the globe, but if I just position them around the area that I own, I can hit pretty much everything. But heavy rockets will make it so I can... Uh, let me see if I can select this again, let's see. Oh no, I think I actually need a heavy missile. A heavy nuke too. Let's see, I'll, I'll put one in Alaska. With the warheads, it's just the tip. <laughs> I've seen what what tacos can do to you, so Mexico is a good place for the bombs. Yes, uh, more bombs in Mexico. In true American fashion, we will go engage the enemy uh, stronghold with our with our carrier task force. Oh, look, we sunk it! We sunk a ship in the strait. Yes, the Bering Strait is ours. You cannot out. We sunk a carrier. <laughs> it is our Bering Strait. Oh, I lost a ship. In the incoming battle, I won. Lost a destroyer though in the process. Engage! No! <laughs> Alright, uh, one in, what, Michigan? Right? Yeah, Michigan. <laughs> so we sunk, we destroyed one airbase, but the second one destroyed us. <laughs> a nice amount of freedom on Alaska. I can put a little bit more freedom on Alaska. Alaska is, is probably the most free place in the world. Because, <laughs> you know, it's Alaska. <laughs> Wait, how did I just spot that carrier way out there? How did I spot it? What spotted this that I own? I have nothing that is close enough to spot that. <laughs> Some up in the frozen tundra of... Of, uh, you know, Canada. All right, so what's the proficiency at? Okay, it's getting up there. So we'll have Mervs and false warheads, but what we do want on top of that is, what was I looking for? 
Not early warning systems. Satellites. Because if we can see where everyone's stuff is at, then we can do first strikes on everybody. And the key is we don't want to use... I don't know, we can't really split our... Our silos up. We're just going to have to make as many as possible. These are going to get hit. If we do a first strike, these will get hit. Sadly, we don't have enough to avoid a... Yeah, so we've only made 13. Well, warhead efficiency now is at 100%, so these are going to go by a little faster. And we're at the two hour mark, so nuclear work is fair game from now until like whenever. We have MIRVs now too. So all the nukes in our silos are now megaton ICBMs, but any new ones we make will be MIRVs. Any new silos we create. Yeah, see MIRVs. Triangle 1, Bradford 0. <laughs> Hawaii? Yeah, sorry, I don't have Hawaii. Uh, the gray area of the game has overtaken it, so... Maybe I'll show you guys some of the other some of the custom maps people have made for this game. There's some custom maps that I have that aren't just this one. Come on, give me more, give me more Sams, or not Sams, uh, missiles. I'm gonna get nuked from like from SSBNs in the ocean. I should do a first strike though, so I can make an attempt to, uh, I can absolutely like overwhelm if I made like just stacks of MIRVs right now. Absolutely overwhelm whatever missile defense they have. As long as I targeted one country specifically, I would overwhelm it. Um, though I'm worried about this nuclear sub. See now with this MIRV, I can't everywhere except directly on the opposite side of the globe so that's why I'm also spreading these missiles out because even with heavy rockets if you're directly on the opposite side of the globe you can't hit them so with missiles spread out I can target someone specifically I'm waiting for someone else to fire though I kind of want to get first strike if I can get first strike uh, that means I can I'll basically win maybe don't kill all my missile silos. Uh, we have satellites going, so... You know what, we're probably gonna have to... Our, our spies have stolen the technology satellite. Okay. Well, we got it early. I don't even know how the spy mechanic works in this game. You just get random stuff. Brad Labs attempts at world domination and destruction is playing out <laughs> and the future islands will be key for lasers and rail guns yeah they will be I mean even though those like rail guns we have on the Zumwalt class destroyers are, are like four what was it like two billion dollars a shoot or something like four billion dollars a shoot I, I don't know something ridiculous something absolutely ridiculous like a ridiculous cost to just shoot them those are made in Maine by the way <clears throat> all four of those it's kind of sad they can't use the rail guns though, just because of how expensive the rounds are. I, I could be way overestimating there. It was just a, a ludicrous amount of money that I saw, so they, they just haven't. They're, they have no plans to use the guns at all. Also, not to mention the, the ships went over budget by a lot. Research complete. Okay, so our research is done. We're going to start going into full construction mode. So these will get done in half the time. Get out of here, research. Get out of here, research. We're gonna try to actually get this down to like 25 and then we'll start making other things. Nuclear war is about to start, I have a feeling, so. Uh, actually, we're gonna start piecing these out and make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just in case I mess up, switch back to flat view. Make my satellites, please. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do. Oh wait, I have. 
territory overlay. That's cool. All right, uh, so you can see where they'll see, and uh, I just do this. It's gonna keep pausing as I spot stuff. Okay, let's, whatever. So now I can target their stuff, which you can line them up just perfectly. I'll probably shoot South America first, just because they're the biggest threat. This is so cheesy, though, with satellites. You can actually, if you get satellite lasers, if you literally just make satellites the entire game and no one makes ASATs, uh, you would shoot down pretty much all the like ICBMs over your country and anywhere near it. Uh, if I turn my car into a suppressor, can the bank not take it because it's an ATF item? This game reminds me of the board game Axis and Allies. I like Axis and Allies. I thought it was pretty fun. Little, uh, their issue currently is durability with rail guns. They basically tear themselves apart. That could be it. Yeah, I can I can understand that. I don't know, I feel like a lot of the technologies are, are figured out though. It's just like putting making it work on a large scale on a moving vessel out at sea with a large amount of power needed to fire it. I mean they've technically successfully done something similar with the maglave in in uh, what is Singapore? The maglave, the hovering train. Just, uh, I, I can understand how making it actually into a weapon that shoots projectiles would be a lot more difficult because it has to propel it at a lot faster speeds and and be subject to a lot of harsh harsh conditions. We're just gonna do this one like squiggly over like uh, dude, over there. Yeah, look at all these all this stuff. We don't need any more satellites. Uh, make us ICBMs or MIRVs. Really good MIRVs. Or are they just gonna nonstop be making MIRVs from now until the time we go to war? 500 should be fine, even though we're never, we're not even gonna be able to make that many. I thought, well, I thought um, Singapore was the only country that had a maglave because of how expensive it was to maintain. Also, it only goes around the city. It's not like a countrywide kind of thing. I feel like that'd be difficult to maintain in a country like Japan where it can, can it snow there? Can it snow there, Northern Japan? Oh, nuclear war has popped off. Uh, nuclear war mode. All right, so let's get these overlays out of here. Uh, we need to fire on South America right now. Uh, let's see. Sam sites. Allow overkill around the world. Uh, where are you firing? Wait, I had a plan. We're firing on sand sites around the world. Opening up. Get rid of their defenses. Oh, incoming bombers. Lots of bombers. Oh no. Emergency execute. Fire, fire for effect. I don't have enough missiles for this. Edit. Uh, best config. A city has been bombed. I'm losing. I'm gonna lose a lot of s a silos. All my silos are getting bombed. All my silos are getting bombed. Okay. Uh, edit. Cancel tech. Edit plan. Nukes. Priority cities. Screw you, South America. Cancel tech. Emergency execute. Fire! 
Against South America. North America, yeah, America, America. All right, edit plan. Uh, all air bases, all cities, all structures in South America, blow them up. Fire. Fire! <laughs> Merv's OP. Look how many those split into, it's crazy. I'm still making them too. I think I'm out though. Yeah, I'm pretty much out. Uh, yeah. Uh, we should have the timer? Yeah, the timer's up. Alright, uh, who are we gonna fight against now? You have a nuke ready? There was a real creepy game. Wait, what was this? We don't have the materials yet, developed yet, that are strong enough to withstand the velocity of the round. And forces associated with it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe carbon, like, with the way carbon fiber is going. They're starting to make, uh, Boeing with a 787, they in, they moved from making it out of aluminum to carbon fiber. It was a lot more expensive. But th this guy on the display, what he did was he went with his carbon fiber. He had a carbon fiber wing when he was selling it to, to business people trying to, trying to buy this, uh, Trying to buy this plane, he took a sledgehammer, a Boeing Boeing executive took this sledgehammer, and he hit the aluminum wing that would be typical typical on their on their previous aircraft. And of course, you know the sledgehammer went right through it. And so then he goes up to the carbon fiber like that they used to make the wing with, and he hits he hits the carbon fiber, and the carbon fiber it, it just shrugs off the sledgehammer. It's just like. It, it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do any damage. And, um... And I mean, uh, that's a lot when, you know, aluminum versus carbon fiber. Yeah, carbon fiber is a lot more expensive. But if you make an aircraft out of it, it, could, it may be able to survive a crash. And, you know, the people on board. And not only that, it might be lighter. I, I'm pretty sure it's lighter than aluminum. Hold on, I gotta... Boeing... Seven eight seven carbon fiber. Yeah, so Boeing seven eight seven Dreamliner is the first world's airplane to be composed mostly of carbon fiber. Uh, each of the seven eight seven contain seven eighty sevens contain approximately thirty five tons of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, which is partially to credit for the most for it being the most fuel efficient airliner yet. I mean that might be something that they uh, they go for maybe with with improving that kind of weaponry maybe going for stronger materials like like carbon fiber or maybe even titanium which titanium would be super super expensive. I feel like the only way we'd be able to feasibly like terraform planets and such too is is with um, like mass driver systems. That'd be the only way we'd actually be able to feasibly do it. Um, I'm just kind of just targeting, targeting cities at this point. Let me just, ba bang, ba bang, ba bang. A city been bombed. Oh, okay. It looks like I won. North America for the win! But like only 40% of my people remained. <laughs> Wait, yeah, only 40% of my population remained. It looks like... Is that 40%? Yeah, 40% of my population. Which, I mean, look at South America. After, after they hit me with those bombers, dude, I was mad. <laughs> they're, they're, they, they be gone. <laughs> dude, apparently you guys really like that Project Zomboid uh stream I just did too because I got like 260 views on that that's nuts I've never gotten 
consistently over, you know, like a hundred views till recently, and I'm getting like two hundred on like pretty much everything, which is a lot to handle. Yeah, it's forty percent freedom. Forty percent freedom and uh, and eighty percent red, white, and blue, and and uh, twenty percent green now. Uh, okay, let's try out some of those maps. Uh, let's see. Geostationary satellite was kind of cool. It, it just puts a satellite over or over a certain area. Uh, these might make me reset though. Map, map. They might restart the game when I do this, but we'll see. Also, there's night mode, which plays it at night, which that might restart the game. Nope. Okay. Uh, also, this is like the load way for the for the mods. So kind of like if if any of you have played RimWorld, there's like a load. Um, it loads them in in succession. Uh, succession. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's uh, do a new game and try out one of these maps. Okay, so this is night mode. Uh. I don't These are different settings for every single one of these. Wait. Okay. These are all just different uh, ways to play this this map. But uh, we're gonna play one of these. Uh, if any of you have played Ace Combat, the Ace Combat series, Bradford Bradford lust for blood is only matched by his lust for for Cool Ranch flavored Frito Lay snacks. Yeah, so if any of you have played, uh, <laughs> if any of you have played the Ace Combat series, you should recognize this this map here. This looks kind of like Greenland. Hold on, wait. That looks really that looks really close to being like Greenland right there. But, but anyways, we'll play some uh, Ace Combat. <laughs> We'll play. We'll play uh, from Ace Combat uh, 04. We'll play as. Uh, wait. We'll play uh, ISAF. Dude, I gotta. I gotta go. I gotta play some Ace Combat on the channel. Jeez, I love that series so much. When I played Ace Combat 7, I, it was the first game in a while that actually brought a tear to my eye when I finished the the story. I sat there in the darkness that night and played the entire game in one sitting, uninterrupted, and it was truly amazing. Truly amazing game. Uh, let's get the points up again. Now this is a pretty big map, so I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, we'll go like, we'll go nuclear, mass nuclear subs, I guess. Maybe and satellites, MRBM, SSBN. The, th the problem is destroyers are gonna see us like everywhere, so uh, we're gonna need satellite coverage over the entire map in order to do a successful SSBN run. Which means. So if we can hit all the technologies now, the problem is Merv is, is really good for subs too, because you'll actually get Mervs. This map looks like the ICBM Game of Thrones with Astros and Essos. Yeah? I can see that. I'm thinking about doing, we'll do some satellites with, uh, We'll do satellites. We'll have the satellites. I can just research. That's an extra like 25 minutes or something in the game. Uh, or 25. Yeah, 25 minutes. What we'll do is we'll... Actually, no. If we do this right now, we can just set up all the satellites right at the beginning. And let's research what we're going to... Or a bunch of the satellites, at least. What other research can I get? 
What if I X one these out? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll go with SSBN right away. Uh, SLBMs. For the subs. Even though we're, we should get Mervs for them. But. Alright, yeah, that looks like a, a Greenland. But, yeah, see, this is the map of uh of uh this is where we're at right here of ace combat I'm trying to find the this is ozia See, they don't have all the factions here, because I know one of the factions is uh, Balkans. I know there's a bunch of different countries. I don't know if the limit is 8. I don't think it is. It's games like this that make me buy potassium iodide. Okay, buddy. Okay, with your potassium iodide. Okay, well, what we want to do is we want to get most sightline we can. Uh, we do want to research Merv, but we don't want Merv with false warhead. So, we need SSBNs, which we got. We need, this will give us the Mervs for the subs. Okay, so we'll do this, followed up by this. We'll see if we can run a game with SSBNs and laser satellites. We have, we do have the access to build SSBNs now. Um, I should build some, but they're gonna take 30 minutes because of the production efficiency time. So we want to wait for this to go up more. We can build more def like satellites for now. Protect your thyroid against fallout. <laughs> Just don't. Do what the Balkans did and nuke their own cities. Yeah, no, yeah, I won't do that. We're just gonna build as many satellites on the map as possible, I guess. Don't enemy radar sight. Okay, I don't need to know that. I literally have nothing built for them to attack, anyways. Look, they have a aircraft carrier fleet up there. They need to do an improved AI for like the fleet movement or something, because eventually they'll just stop and sit in a place and not do anything. Which bugs me with this game a little bit. An AI improvement would be good. This map could easily have like probably twice as many factions on it. Though I haven't had much luck trying to play multiplayer with mods on this game. So these satellites are going to be armed with lasers that will shoot down, eventually armed with lasers, that will shoot down ICBMs in flight. Which, they'll only obviously shoot them down if they're over the top of them with a blue little circle, so they can't just shoot down everything that's in their path. So I'm just gonna saturate the world with uh, satellites. 
Or the enemy countries, that is, with satellites. And uh, AIs typically don't use ASATs, so it's not something really to worry about. Where's the space elevator? <laughs> they make a, uh, yeah, they made this uh, uh, space elevator, remember? Oh, wait, no, it was in, uh, It was here, or was it? Yeah, it was uh, around this area. I think it was around here. That the, either the space elevator was here or up here somewhere from uh, Ace Combat 7, because for Bonti's their capital that you end up fighting them uh, here. Now it's just time to start placing satellites everywhere. Uh, Yes. As we wait for the warhead profession production efficiency to go up, we're gonna look at this globe. Look at all my satellites just whipping around. This is nearly not enough to actually do a good enough coverage for ICBM defense, but whatever. I'm just I'm just throwing them up at this point. Uh, we'll do. We're actually gonna cut these down by a lot. We're gonna do like eight more, and then we're just gonna consider it done. Maybe not. Maybe a lot less. I have seen people, though, play this game where they'll... We've stolen the technology ICBM. Okay. I didn't really need it, but... Oh, no, I think that was researching that, like, right now. Or no, it was. But again, I don't need it. <laughs> I've seen people uh, place like just stacks of satellites on a, on a, like an enemy country or an enemy country, and then <laughs> they go to launch their ICBMs, not knowing that their satellites are overhead because they don't have any space radar, uh, and all their all their ICBMs just get shot down. <laughs> Complete. These are space weapons research. So now we can do max efficiency building. We're gonna make lots of SSBNs with MIRVs. And we can remove these, but we have sight lines on everything. Every movement of every ship anywhere. Actually, we should research better silent engines. Yeah, we'll do that. This is going to cut down our production time, but why not? It'll, it'll actually help our SSBNs out by a lot. First SSBN is online. Uh, what is my range? I don't have my range up. I can't, uh... Oh right, don't I have, a sur I have to surface? Yeah, I have to surface. Oh Jesus, I have so much...
right. I forgot about that. I think they, I think there was a mod I had so you can fire from underwater. Because, I mean, that's a thing. Uh, maybe they should add in like a, uh, a technology so you can fire from underwater. Research complete. Okay, now we can switch to SSBNs. Now that we can see all of the enemy troop movements. Oh, that's a destroyer. We're gonna avoid that. Sail right in here to their capital. Enemy fleet movement. They will never see it coming. From inside their own lake. <laughs> they will never see it coming. Uh, I'm gonna set one here because I can strike both of those and get an early strike on their silo. These are all fully equipped with the latest and the best um, ICBMs that I have to offer. Okay, three stationed here. I should put more in this bay though. I can strike everything in the area from here, I mean. Brad wore a raspberry beret for it. The kind you find in a second-hand store. <laughs> Alright, I think they have a minimum range, so I'm not even going to be able to direct hit those. All these ships are going to have to move into the bay after, but I think I'm just having them sit here for safety reasons. Oh no, the, the, <laughs> the firing range is so... This doesn't even matter, like it's so small that it doesn't doesn't matter. Alright, we'll just send some subs to hide off in people's lands, like where they won't find them. I know it's kind of late, but uh, how's chat doing tonight anyways? I want to know. How is chat doing tonight? 
And the Sir Prince said us in chat. There's an enemy fleet there I'm gonna run into. We'll uh, hide in this radar station maybe. Nope, they're gonna find me if I sit there. We're going to go up in here and camp there. Ben, you're doing good? Oh, that's, that's amazing. That is amazing that you're doing good. Glad to hear it. I like to hear when you guys are doing good. Makes me feel better. Me feel better. I'm having SSBNs just sit under people's noses. I need to get some up in here. But I need to make sure I have some to... That looks awfully like Greenland and Iceland. Oh, where was it destroyed? Where? Oh, there's an enemy destroyer there. Okay. Whatever. You found one that was out in the open. Oh, please don't. Satellite coverage, help me. Okay. Enemy SSBN destroyed. I'm eating nacho cheese Dor Doritos and watching a stream. You know what's really good with nacho cheese Doritos? Hear me out. Now, if you go to the store when you're buying your nacho cheese Doritos and you buy some Tostitos queso dip, just like the regular yellow dip, dip your nacho cheese Doritos in the queso dip. It's like an extra level of like cheesy goodness. You will thank me later. Sending armies of subs here, but they keep intercepting them with their subs. The problem is the reason why I'm making so many submarines is because um, they have to return to my waters to get a resupply. Oh, dude, nuclear war started. All right, time to open fire on everybody. Uh, SSBN, target friendly enemy cities, uh, select best config, uh, fire. Look, wait, let, let's check all the cities we have targeted. <laughs> right under their noses, boys! a nacho event horizon level of nacho density <laughs> okay what if you did the coated chips in taco meat oh my god okay so my girlfriend makes the most amazing thing in the world it's called taco dip 
and it's baked in the in like the oven and so what she does is she puts like the bottom layer as um as cream cheese then she puts in um a cooked hamburger on the top of that then she'll put in some tostitos medium salsa uh i think they're oh and then a can of um uh cheese soup and and she'll 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 uh put that into the oven and bake it for like i think like five minutes or ten minutes or something and then she'll pull it out and oh my god dude uh, we each have consumed like a bag of of tostitos eating that it is it is fantastic but anyways back to nuclear war <laughs> This looks like it's going to be an insane fight, and I don't think I'm going to nearly get all these kills as I want, but we'll fire anyways. Fire the nuclear warheads! Nuclear war mode, fire! Ha <laughs> ISAF is the winner! ISAF is the winner! <laughs> ICBMs! Look at my score! <laughs> Dude! Substrat worked. Substrat worked. Look at that. Almost 6,000 score from our nuclear bombs. I'm like one of the only people who's positive. I single handedly just wiped. <laughs> 326% dead. <laughs> Who did I hurt? Okay, orange I killed the most. Militant axes I killed the most. Uh, followed by, actually no, Ocean. Allied Ocean countries kind of tied them for that. Dude, I, I obliterated. They're gone. Dude, this, this was an insane fight. Let's see uh, other stats. Ha! Nukes exploded. Okay, so me and blue, me and light blue had the most nukes exploded. Uh, what's this one? Megatons exploded. Nukes exploded? Megatons exploded? Okay, well. They just had bigger bombs here. Oh, let's see. Nukes launched. 666. I launched 666 nukes here. I'm evil. <laughs> I still have 99% of- wait, no, wait, no, I don't. My population is dead. Light blue has 99% of their population. <laughs> uh, okay. Unless I'm ISAF. Am I ISAF? No, ISAF is right here. Dude, that is world domination. Subs are where it's at. Yeah, sub sandwiches and YouTube subs are where it's at. <laughs> Mostly sub sandwiches, though. Uh, let's see. What's this one? Military might. Dude, my <laughs> all my subs just died. Look at this drop off right here. Let's see. It. I'm going to eliminate everyone else. Oh, wait, uh... Why can't I turn off? Oh, this is, is this average? Look at it, it just drops off. Why can't I? Who is this? I can't turn someone off. Look, I, all the subs built, look. Satellites, subs. <laughs> uh, research progress. I'm guessing this is game average. This has to be game average. All right, well, we'll get out of this. All right, uh, let's see. We'll do maybe one more. Maybe one more on one of the other maps. Uh, change map. And this was just a map someone made. I don't know anything about it, but an alternate Earth reality. Here for a hot minute, drop a like, saying howdy. 
I have a lab, lad, brabs. Hello. Hello, Rob. It's always good to see you. You are an amazing fellow. Uh, I think I'm gonna do... I really like that sub, sub thing that I did. That was pretty fun. I might attempt to replicate it. The only problem is one faction is basically the entire Arctic, which is kind of weird. Or we could go like strat bombers, but that's just a lot of a lot of work. Because if they die, I have to rebuild all of them. Oh no, I like the sub idea. The sub was fun. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, okay, so we need MRBM. I forgot with. Oh no, I didn't change the point thing. Point go up. Point go burr. Alright, uh. MRBM. SSBN. And what else did I have? Satellite? And I didn't have. I did have advanced optic right away. And then I had one satellite. If I'm not mistaken. One satellite, and. You know what? We have extra points. I'll just go with a destroyer to go harass someone. Alright. We'll go with whatever. We'll go with whatever this country is. harass them. Or, wait, we'll just go sit out in the middle of the ocean. Okay. Yeah, see, they get the entire Arctic, which doesn't make sense, unless global view. Oh, they literally just, like, get the Arctic itself. Okay, I guess this makes a little more sense. Would have been more preferable, maybe, if they didn't get Arctic and they got, like, this islandy area. Because it looks weird when you look at it from the non-globe view. But anyways, we'll do uh, subs again. So we need to do Merv and then our laser space weapon. We really don't even need to do laser space weapons. That was just like a waste. It might have saved us though. I have no idea. It could have. It could have just shot down like all the nukes and as soon as they started firing. I have no idea, so we might actually do it, I guess. Uh, we'll do 25? 20. We'll limit ourselves to 20. Did I just kill that radar? Oh, I did. Get out of here. I don't need to know every time some little radar shows up. <laughs> okay, chat. So here's the thing. I have several games I need to finish up. Company of Heroes has a lot of stuff that it needs to be done. Um, Project Zomboid, we all know how Project Zomboid goes. I do, I, I die almost every time. So that's just like a comedy show. Um, which one would you rather have sooner? Would you rather have a completion to Battle Station Pacific or more Company of Heroes? Because um, I would like to wrap those ones up. Um, Company of Heroes has a lot more I have to do. Um, I do have other games coming, but uh, those are ones I'm, I'm asking about because I do want to wrap them up, but I want to see what you guys would prefer to come first. And I'll, and I'll try to make that happen. Battle Station Pacific. What 
about what about anyone else? What do you guys? What do you guys? Uh, what do you guys want? Battle stage specific. Okay. The only reason why I ask because uh, it, it would be me either setting aside like seven hours to do Battle Station Pacific or setting aside like maybe two two or three streams and two streams in a day to do Company of Heroes stuff, which uh, I could do either, but even with two streams of Company of Heroes, I wouldn't finish all the campaign stuff. There's two campaigns that I haven't even touched in that game that I just, I, I just haven't. Also, not to mention all the skirmishes and fun stuff you can do. Yeah, okay, I'll do I'll do Battle Station Pacific. Then maybe I'll do some skirmishes in Battle Station Pacific as like a small little stream to fill in some time or something. To show you guys like some of the skirmish stuff. Um, maybe do like a game or two of that. But the thing is, I'm really good at the skirmish, so me fighting the AI is like not even, not much of a challenge. Even though the AI isn't stupid they, they understand what they need to do battle station pacific's the common answer yes there is one mission in that game though and the japanese campaign i absolutely i absolutely loathe doing so uh just a heads up i'm i'm pro i'm gonna hate that mission so much and i will tell you what mission that is when, when i play it i, I hate it so much it's so diff it's so difficult even if you set it to like easy. As long as you're not in class you'll be there yeah i don't i don't know what day it'll be and it's and when i do it it's gonna be a long a long stream so if you miss some of it you're gonna see the other some of it so don't don't worry about missing any So if you guys can see what I'm doing here, I'm not necessarily doing this. Uh, I kind of just accidentally did this, but if you offset your stuff like this, like the way I'm doing it over here, they'll all overlap here. And if you have laser space weapons and you want to protect your country, that might be a smaller one. You could easily cover it like doing the strat that I'm doing because all of these satellites overlap in the same spot, as you can see. So you're gonna have you're gonna have lots of overlap here. Yeah, so you can see a lot of blue there. Whereas everywhere else it's kind of spread out also here too, so um Research good complete. thing to keep in mind. Uh Merv is done, laser space weapons is on the way. Is that still not covered? No, that's covered. I'm waiting for laser space weapons to come in, so I gotta shoot down ICBMs for days. Yeah, warhead production efficiency is still terrible, so I'm just. <laughs> the massive amount of satellite coverage. 
You're very good about interacting with your subs. Yeah, it, it, as Tampa says, it's a VIP experience. I, I try my best. If it's a game that really requires my attention or really takes my attention, it's a lot harder for me to do that. And, and I make sure like, I, I usually apologize to you guys if that happens. Um, just because I, I like interacting with you guys because I think it's fun, especially during like Project Zomboid streams so you guys can watch me die a lot. Um, so I mean, I, there are times where I don't get that luxury that I feel bad about, but I mean, a lot of the times it just depends on the game. Like this game I can pause and play whenever versus other games where I can't. So. I need to start making uh, subs. Get out of here, satellites. I have Mervs now. Subs must be a priority, even though it's going to take 15 minutes to make them. Just got to start getting subs up. Dude, look at all these satellites. Just boom. They're like, they're like bees. <laughs> they're like bees. Laser space weapons complete. So what we'll do is we'll move this all over to production. It'll take us seven minutes to make each sub now instead of whatever it was. And I'll put a bunch in here. One like some of them up in these little places so it's harder to de detect them. But now I can see where all the enemy fleets are and their movements. The first person I want to booby trap. Actually we're gonna make a sub right there. So it's in our waters. And I mean, right here, this can reach like, like look, you can reach like their entire country. See, they have destroyers on this side, which it would be bad for us to have our subs everywhere. Now, if we can take this sub, there's an SSB in right there, and move it into this bay, we will be in a good spot to fire upon this entire continent. Space junk problem. <laughs> yeah, it's not necessarily that I'm engrossed in a game. It's like uh, some games just take my attention more than others, and and uh, and I I feel bad when I'm in those kinds of games because I see your guys' chats, but I'm not able to respond because I'm I'm engrossed. Also, when I'm when I'm playing with Raptor, it's also difficult because I don't, because he's responding to his chat. I try to respond to my chat, like, and if, if Red's in, he's also responding to his chat. So, and then um, I don't want to step on them or step on anyone else or, and, and you know, it just, I don't know. It's a mess when we stream together, but I mean, it helps. It helps get views to the channel and subs and stuff. So it's not bad, but by any means. See, I have a lot of and ships here, so I don't know if I'd be able to sneak a ship in there, a sub in there. Let's try to get one in here, maybe. Right up in there. And I know as I get more people joining, it's going to be a lot harder to interact with everyone, which is also going to make me feel mixed about it. I mean, yeah, it helps the channel and helps all of you guys and because I can do more games and I can actually, you know, get money to be able to do more expensive games like 
back for blood, which I can't do. I'm, there's, there's just no way I was going to be able to do that with, with how much money it costs. With how much you're really getting out of it, it just wasn't worth it. It's too expensive. Like, there's no reason, there's absolutely no reason to pay for a basically Left 4 Dead for $90 to get the game four days early. That, that is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I, I, I'm not, I can't justify that. Yeah, I could. Like, uh, so here's the thing. Uh, my girlfriend will actually be in some future streams, but I'm not going to tell you guys when, because that would be spoiling uh, the fun of it. But she will be involved in some future stuff, so be prepared for that. And it won't be for games that you suspect. It will not be for games. We, we have played a couple games, but we don't play... When we play together, we don't play a couple games. We play other games, so... Just be ready, because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You guys, you guys will see, you guys will see it first. Raptor ain't gonna see it first. You guys are gonna see it first. If you guys can get me to wherever, if you guys can keep, like, you know, helping the channel out and, and stuff. She wants to get involved, so it's up to you guys. Oh, that's uh, going to run right into their fleet. No, well, well, okay, we might do Stardew, but it's not what we're planning. I asked her if she wanted to do Stardew, and she said something completely different that caught me off guard. So, um, I actually didn't necessarily catch me off guard, because, I mean, we play it sometimes. We've played it before but it's going to be something else. Not Stardew. Wait, oh, where did this get sunk? Oh, uh, enemy SSBN. Okay, we're going to go kill that. Get out of your SSBN. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. Oh, I didn't get the silence engines. The silent engines to make my subs better. Oh. Well, my subs basically just need to be everywhere so they can literally strike everyone and anyone when nuclear war hits, which will be soon. This one's gonna go there. You. Wait, you do, you. Don't worry about Raptor. Yeah, but the thing is, Raptor's a really good resource because he can. He before we we get in, we get into a lot of games early, which helps the channel because you know people don't get those. Like I am a lucky few that gets to do that kind of stuff with Raptor. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that I get to do that stuff with Raptor, uh, where we get to you know try out new stuff and and have fun with it and and test it out before a lot of stuff's released and. That's one of the, another one of the reasons why I decided to do this was because I have that kind of access. I have, you know, those resources, and I wanna I wanna make sure I'm using them to the best of my ability to ensure that. Um... Oh, I think nuclear war is about to happen. Maybe I hear I hear music. Oh, that's a sub. Looks like it was moving towards me. Uh, but I mean, like, Oregon Trail Multiplayer Edition? Oh god, no. Hell no. I'm not playing Oregon Trail. Oh, I keep forgetting that I want to look up that Oregon Trail speedrun. I want to look up an Oregon Trail speedrun. No glitches. Glitchless Oregon Trail speedrun. Wait, that's not my... We need to set up more subs here, because I have, like, no subs to attack blue at all. So blue's going to just absolutely steamroll me. Our Mervs do most of the work, though, because they just bypass the Sams. <clears throat> well, we need enough subs to be able to... Uh, I just need my subs offshore. 
Where are these subs sinking? In the bay? How are they sinking in the bay? What just sunk all of my subs there? I don't know, but it's not good. Also, we need subs off the coast to hit those. Raptor thinks a, a very lot of you. Believe it or not, he rags on you out of fondness. I know, he does. I admit I found you through Raptor, but I watch you more. Oh, that's, that's, that's thoughtful. Thank you. Raptor is a great resource, and he really seems genuine at helping you learn what he has. Yeah, we do a lot of talking out off streams and stuff, so... Um, I mean, sometimes we'll literally just have late night chats where we'll sit in the in the TS and literally just talk for like hours about YouTube and and that kind of stuff. So it, it is it is a fun experience we have. Are they firing torpedoes at me? Those jerks! Get out of here! Get out of my waters! You are not welcome here. Where to go? What a jerk, dude. I just have to keep pumping out submarines. This, I have so many submarines on the map, I think, at this point, where I, th I don't think it's going to be a problem. But one of my subs here just died, so I, I am worried about that. As soon as Nuclear War pops off, though. Whew, Raptor is a great guy. Yeah, he is a great guy. Nothing against Raptor, but he's he gets the less interactive. The bigger he gets, the less interactive he seems. Just saying. Yeah, everyone is like that. It's just because he has a lot on his plate. Like he's working at this point. He's working so hard at the mill where where I've had to I have had to help him with a lot of his stuff. Or, well, not a lot of his stuff, but some of his stuff. Um, for his videos, whether you, whether you guys know it or not, I have I have had to help him out a few times. So like he, he's just really busy, and I don't blame him at all. Are they sub hunting me? Like, dude, why is blue involved in these waters? There, there's no blue. Okay, well he's, I guess he's right there, but. I have three subs here ready to fire on blue as soon as that goes, as soon as someone fires the first shot. Like, blue's gonna be the first one I shoot at. <laughs> With that many viewers, it's hard to interact Mongo, but he does a lot more than I would expect. Yeah, he does do a lot. He tries when he cans. When he can. <laughs> cans. It's just that talking, taking care of a thousand children is a lot harder than taking care of ten. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Hold on, let me, like, refresh. Yeah, I'm taking care of 19 of you. <laughs> and some of you don't, some of you don't, don't talk in the chat. So, it's like... Some of you don't talk in the chat often. So, you just kind of, like, listen. Like, it's a podcast, which I can understand. I used to do that. Yeah. He has to like, constantly be like on the lookout, and he has his email up on like a secondary s s screen the entire time when we're in streams and stuff. And no joke, he told me sometimes he gets like ten emails in the middle of like streams. All of them, all of them devs asking him to do games. Like he's not just splitting the attention between you guys. He's also answering emails in the middle of streams, and like watching chat to make sure no one does anything bad. And like, you know, watching all this stuff and then also watching his like comment section and other things. So like, he has a lot on his plate, like a lot on his plate, even when he's in the middle of a stream. So you're lucky you're kind of getting the amount of attention that you do when he, when he's streaming, because he, he really has his attention divided. I, I got a cookie? Oh, dude, Rob, you are amazing. 
Hello, Sir Dennis. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> I wasn't saying that some of you don't chat is a bad thing. I, I, I'm just saying, like, like some of you are more chatty than others, and I, I, I and you know, like that's also noticeable in Raptors chat. Like, you'll notice some people will talk in there for hours, and then other ones won't say anything. I mean, like, look some games he has like you know almost 2,000 people watching and you'll won't get many people actually talking in the chat other than like regulars so it's like I don't know so I mean all, you also have to think about that like he doesn't also want to interact with the same people over and over again because it makes it look like he's you know favorite favoritism even though he does have favoritism just not um, let's see I need to shoot that oh he has Murphs. we need to go kill him Get off my property. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not, uh. Love from Red's chat. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Absolute hard work, but you know he makes a living doing it. It is his job. He's successful because he puts in that hard work. Yeah, he does. He does really put in that hard work. And, and you know, if it wasn't for YouTube and it's it's like bad algorithms and stuff. Are you, are you actually joking? I bet he had the set better engines. The better engines just won him that fight. And I'm kind of salty. I kind of want to just shoot a nuke at him, but... Whatever. Yeah, I mean, he's a hard worker. And, um, I don't think I would be able to do it like he does. I can't, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to do videos and do, and do streams and stuff too. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Raptor does it because it's his job. But, I mean, when I start working and start working, like, full-time for some company or something, I'm only probably going to be able to do one stream a day for you guys. I'm not going to be able to do what Raptor does. The end of the Icarus stream ended with my internet dying. <laughs> That's how it ended. <laughs> for me, at least. Not for a Raptor and them. They went, dude, they went for hours. Like, I went out for, like, three hours after I, I left at, like, what was it? Nine... 9 EST or something, 9, 8.30, I don't know, somewhere around there, I left, and I came back, <laughs> three, four hours later, they're still on it, <laughs> still going. Who destroyed my sub? I shall replace it with 10 more. Actually, no, I'm just gonna place a bunch of subs here. I don't know why Nuclear War hasn't kicked off yet. It's almost at the four hour mark. How many subs do I have left over here? Not enough. Well, we do have all these ones in the bay, but they're just slowly building up forces. At this point, I should just launch because the longer I wait, the more stuff they're gonna have to defend. You know what, screw it. We're starting Nuclear War. Oh well. Well, so the thing is, um, he does he does do a, a decent amount of editing. But the thing is, uh, with streaming, we have some rules we have to abide by. So we can only do basically two streams a day because of the 24-hour three notification rule with YouTube. So you can only have three notifications go out in a 24-hour period, which means if you have a fourth video that goes up in a 24-hour period, no one gets notifications. So it doesn't matter if they have all notifications on or not. They don't get any, which is... Which is bad. Uh, and then the other thing that, that me and Raptor and, and Red have to abide by, which is another rule. If a stream goes over six hours, you can't edit it. So um, so if let's say there's some copyrighted song in there or something, um, Raptor, for instance, is out of money. Like he doesn't get any money for the video or whatever. He doesn't get anything. Because it went over six hours and he can't go in and edit out that music and... and, and change it back to monetized 
So he loses all the money on that video. Um, so that means when any any stream that goes over six hours is a risk to him. Um, and he only does it if he knows for certain that the, that the game doesn't have any copyrighted music in it. Um, and then, of course, our streams automatically get cut at 12 hours. So, like, with Void Train, we had to end, we had to end the stream because it was going to hit the 12-hour mark. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're, we're under a bunch of different rules. Uh, and obviously, like, the algorithm doing its suppression thing, which it loves to do. Uh, I'm not going to do overkill because I want to try to hit as many cities as possible. 17. I feel like I'm missing some, but oh well. But that was my big YouTube spiel. Donations during those are a compensation. Well, okay, so here's the thing. So with AdSense, it depends on the time of year. Because with less viewers, the... I don't know how it works, but like... Somehow the ads get priced more if you have more viewers, and then they get priced... Something... They shift around throughout the year. I don't remember how it was explained to me, but uh, I'm gonna... Emergency execute the strike plan and absolutely cause nuclear war of global proportions. Yep, nuke, nuke strategy is probably by far the best strategy so far. <laughs> look, I literally just did it again. And look, this red red nation has no no people left. <laughs> they're they're dead. They're all dead. <laughs> oh no, wait, that's killed. Never mind. Hello, Sir Raptor. We're just talking about your hard work. About how hard you work. You are a hard worker. And about how terrible YouTube is with uh, Miss Susan and, and the algorithm. Alright, I guess we'll do like one more since Sir Raptor's here. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I hate Europe. I hate playing as Europe. And it's gone. I don't know, I was gonna leave. I don't know, maybe I'll do like a 1v1. Okay, we'll do, we'll do West Asia versus East Asia. We'll see which one is the better of the two Asias. Um, so which which country do you guys want me to uh, play as? Raptor is an amazing dude. All right, let's uh, West Asia. Yeah, we'll go again at West Asia. We lost last time. We gotta regain our regain our throne. my arm today Jesus uh, okay so we gotta get the that up we'll do should be points 
Eurasia, o Oceana. Well, I'm back on uh, Earth now, so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bring out a, a big dub for West Asia, which I got like what seventh place or sixth place on the first one, brushing the, brushing it off. But seeing how we're so close, we can actually do my old strat. But I want to do. We'll do radar sights. Rob G is the Rob H G is the official cookie giver. We will change his name to Otis. Spunkmeyer, maker of the greatest cookies. <laughs> Is he the maker of the greatest cookies? We'll do ABM right off the bat, and then uh, Space Radar to sh shorten the research for that other thing. Oh, hey, we're playing Night. So this is going to look different. Look at this. Like you see New York just as bright as the sun. All right, uh, radars. Brad strats. Give Brad cookies and whoopie pies. I am actually not a fan of whoopie pies. I'm. I like cookies. I love cookies, like chocolate chip cookies. Though if you make if you make like the original like ones that take like the vanilla extract and everything, and you like took the chocolate chips out, I'd also be perfectly fine with just plain cookies, like without chocolate chips in it. I'd be fine with both. Like a vanilla, just like a vanilla cookie that doesn't have the chocolate chips in it, but it was supposed to be a chocolate chip cookie. And then chocolate chip cookies are also great as well. Okay, so we're going to go with, we're actually going to go with ICBM vehicle. Actually, no, wait, we can't do that because we're defending ourselves. So we need early warning system, advanced ABM, actually advanced ABM, and then early warning system. And then we'll do advanced SAM. Uh, I think our SAM batteries just need a little bit touching up here, and then we should be good. We'll do 15, should be fine. Then two air bases would probably be good. What was that? Enemy destroyer and carrier group. Uh-oh, I'm going to lose that. Did I just kill it? I killed the carrier group! Terror group dead! Woo! Hello, Chase. Shortbread cookies? Dude, I loved it when, um... With Starbucks had those shortbread cookies, but they discontinued them, and I was so sad when they when they discontinued them. Only thing when I was a kid that I used to get at Starbucks was shortbread cookies. Nutter Butters are good. And if you've ever watched uh, Booster, you'll know Shroop Whopper waffles are good too. I did actually try those under Booster's recommendation. So this Sam wall should protect us from any ICBMs or jets they fly over. Um, the only thing it won't protect us from is Sam's from down here, which I might just deploy some destroyers to sit down here to possibly shoot some stuff down or maybe some sams just dot some sands sams around 
to catch any uh, ICBMs that sl slip through. Sad Brad? Nutter butters are good. Was Starbucks cookies eight bucks a piece? No, I'm talking about like back in like years ago. These Starbucks used to have this, this these two shortbread cookies in these like small in this small like plastic package that you could get, and those things were so so delicious, dude. I'm sad they got rid of them. I just gotta put some Sams along here to double them up. Singular Sams can catch like the one or two ICBMs, but if, if you're like getting saturated either by Mervs or there's multiple targets, they're not going to be able to do anything. There's actually two things I've started actually drinking at Starbucks. It is, um, my girlfriend gets, she doesn't get coffees or anything. She gets the uh, strawberry lemonade. They do really good strawberry lemonades with actual strawberries in them. Uh, and then, well, not actual strawberries, but they put strawberries in them and, and they're really good. The strawberry lemonade is. Um, and then what I get is the vanilla bean. Um, the vanilla bean, it's just like, like a vanilla, like cream kind of thing. I guess is, is the way of saying it. I don't actually know what the full terminology is for it or what the actual name is, but I just I just usually call it the vanilla bean because that's what I grew up knowing what those drinks were. Blueberry Newtons, like Fig Newtons. The coffee brand with Ahsoka's face on it. I don't know what coffee brand that is. Oh, <laughs> with the so okay, I get it now. I get it. I get your joke. Okay, it took me a second. Uh, we need to build an early warning system. Okay, this needs to stop pausing every time it detects something. And then once we have this. Big and old timer. I'm just a big coffee guy. Yeah, I don't like coffee. Coffee's something I actually don't like. That's why I got the vanilla bean when I go to Starbucks. Research complete. Uh. Yeah, I got, I actually, no, okay. Well, I like the, um, I like French vanilla cappuccinos from, uh, I actually like French vanilla cappuccinos from Tim Hortons. That's like the only thing remotely close to coffee that I like. And that's if they're done well. Like sometimes I go to play, go to Tim Hortons and they're done terribly. And it just, it's just like, no, I throw it away. <laughs> Now I plan to do missile vehicles, so... Oh, they're doing SSBNs. Because I can turn off spying. SAM site, building SAM sites and doing SSBNs. So yeah, it's good that I'm doing SAMs on here now. I should need one more right there and I should be good for here. What? Get out of here. I love the original Fig Newtons. Yeah, I like I like Fig, fig Newtons. Uh, ouch, that hurts to hear, Brad Labs, that, that I don't like coffee. Yeah. Uh, any more FTL in the future? If you guys want to see FTL and see me keep losing crew members, yeah, sure. And, and dying. I might have to set it to easy. I, I'm pretty sure I died on even easy mode last time, which is a pity. It's, it's kind of sad. So I watched another movie this morning. Ooh. 
What'd you watch, sir? This is kind of a light Sam border, but... I'm a little worried about here, but should be fine. As long as, if they go Merv, so it's gonna be bad. Wait, where did I see that? Technology, oh, whoops. Yeah, SSBN. After we do this, we need to get uh, short range, ra short range radar for the Sams themselves. All right. And the reason why I'm setting these destroyers here is because the destroyers actually have access to ABMs. So they can actually shoot down uh, ballistic missiles. So I'm going to set up a destroyer line here. But they're not actually good at it. If there's multiple if there's multiple ICBMs, they're not going to be able to hit every one. But they're going to be able to stem the tide a bit. Especially if they have uh, S SSBNs, like sub sub-launched ballistic missiles. Also, if you have uh, coastal cities like right here, that it's good to put a destroyer offshore, like right here, or with a uh, this one right here. Having destroyers offshore will save you a bit. People using time as money, attention for wait, what I do? Attrition for oh, attrition for okay. Debrad, Debrad zone. Yes, this is a Debrad zone. Little time is money. Have you seen the announcement for trailer for Ghost Recon Frontline? Yeah, the last Ghost Recon that came out wasn't it pretty much? Because wasn't the last Ghost Recon pretty much like a copy and paste of Wildlands? Oh wait, do you guys want to see like Ghost Recon Wildlands maybe? I know it's an older game, but I really like that one. That one was fun. I'm gonna put a uh, destroyer right there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw cruisers. I think the the yeah, I have I have plenty of over the horizon. But that's all I was gonna do. I was gonna put two cruisers here, a cruiser right here. One for naval protection, two for um, over the horizon in case my over horizon dies for some reason, which they never do. So, but the naval protection from enemy destroyers will be good. Now, I have a unique way of playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, if we do it. Um, you will see that it is way different than how most people play. Uh, there needs to be a destroyer off the shore of Karachi. Production complete. And my research stopped and I wasn't paying attention. I think. How long ago did this finish? Oh, okay. Well, not that long ago. Wait. Yeah, like 10 minutes. Got lost 10 minutes to that. Okay, so we need that. And then... ICBM vehicle. Which will take a little bit, but... Uh, Ghost Recon is like... Kind of SPS, FPS, but kind of not. Ubisoft is giving away, I don't know which Ghost Recon. Naval blockade for ending all life on Earth, Chase Riley. Yeah. What is, what is this game about? Uh, it's like... 
I don't know if you've ever seen the game DEFCON, but it's like a more in-depth game of DEFCON, um, where you just kind of like wage nuclear war against uh, another faction, where I just did a 1v1 on this one, so I'm fighting one AI faction. Um, but you can have up to like eight or nine actual players. Each player is a different country or, or region, not necessarily country. And, and uh, wage nuclear war against each other. The thing is with DEFCON though, if it, there's a secret with DEFCON where if you don't, it was meant to be an office game. So like people in the office could play it uh, with each other. And if you put it in a uh, hot seat mode or whatever, or literally any mode actually, if you're playing it, if you double hit the escape button, it would minimize the game down to your bottom right little uh, toolbar. So then you just double click it down the bottom right toolbar and it brings the game back up again. Like it completely hides it so your boss can't see it. <laughs> that was probably one of the best parts about DEF CON was it was purposely made for office workers. I have a feeling they're going to try to actually hit Istanbul, but... Right now I'm just placing Sam's to try to protect myself from when they do decide to shoot at me. Production complete. All right, production is complete and we can get missile vehicles now. So that's gonna be the next priority, maybe. Can I get missile vehicle? Oh, I need ICBM first. No, I need to get missile vehicle first and then I'll get I, I'll finish ICBM. Missile vehicle is important. Uh, start making MRBMs, lots of MRBMs. Is that two hours and I have no means to shoot a, a missile. I'll have to watch as a combat veteran, not into FPS. Research it's not, complete. it's like a, th it, it, it switches between, it's mostly a third person. It's a third person game, Wildlands is. Um, I think it can do first person if they're like using like a scope or something, but otherwise, and, and the way I play it, the way I play it, it doesn't even turn into a gunfight. <laughs> so it's like the way I play it, I play it. I'm not going to give any hints the way I play it. It is not the way they intended to be it to be played. The way I clear bases and stuff is not the way they, they intended it. So. What's a sniper game? Uh... Oh, I did get to just get like a sniper game that I might have to play on the stream. I got a uh, Sniper Elite 4. Uh, for pretty cheap. I think I got it for like, what? Like $5 or something or $10 on Steam when it's like 60 right now. I got it on a pretty decent sale. What was I gonna do? Oh, I need missile vehicles. Missile vehicles, you're needed. Lots of missile vehicles. Whoops. There we go, 25 should be enough to absolutely level this country. Though I don't think it'll reach the farthest end, so I'll need... I'll reach most there. So I'm going to set them all in this little valley. The only problem is with how close this city is to these Sams, it'll probably kill them. I'll probably kill my own Sams firing on their stuff. Wait, what's this? So he cheats? So I cheat? No, I just... <laughs> okay, look. There's some games I cheat in and, and I have fun with it, but I don't, I'm not going to stream a game where I cheat. Okay. 
if there are ways in the game to exploit, I will absolutely do that. <laughs> Though I won't use like game breaking bugs like like in Fallout New Vegas or something where you like can clip through doors by like saving and reloading multiple times. Like that I think that's stupid. But I'm talking about actual game mechanics that were just overlooked that I used to my advantage. <laughs> Which, with Wildlands, there absolutely is one. <laughs> I'm not playing... No, I, I don't think I would be able to... Sub I don't think I want to subject my girlfriend to AoE. I'm sorry. I actually just recently tried going for some of the achievements in that game. In AoE 2. Because uh, that's my favorite AoE. Um, and... I'm honestly, I honestly think when I tried to go for those, I, I lost brain cells. Some of those achievements on Steam are absolutely ridiculous. If any of you, after the stream, if any of you have not seen the Age of Empires... Wait, I, I can't do that. The Age of Empires 2 achievements, r achievements, go look at them. They are absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You have you have to cheat to get those, otherwise you will literally spend years of your life getting them. It's called cheesing, yeah. Age of you're tired of watching Age of Empires? I don't know, maybe I'll do like an Age of Empires at some point, but it's not a game I don't think I'd wanna stream. I don't think it's a game I'd want to stream. I played it so much in my childhood and now that I just, I, I can't, I can't play it as much anymore. Uh, looks like I'm about to blow up an enemy destroyer to death and another destroyer to death. I need to be making missiles. Do I can't, do I can't combine shift and ult to, or control? No, to make it make like 20 at a time or 10 at a time instead of five. All right, I'll fast make those. Waiting for this. Because I can't hit any of these far out cities without these ICBM vehicles. But as you can notice, all of my medium ranges can cover all these small cities, but I can't hit any of their really big ones. Shanghai, Tokyo, Soul for some reason only a five. 21, 10. Yeah, I guess. Medieval Dynasty. I just watched the uh, new Venom. I thought it was pretty good. I know a lot of uh, older Venom fans, though, like who are into like the real comic stuff, really don't like the new Venom stuff because it goes against like the whole Venom character and stuff. But um, I liked it. And the only reason why I give that little disclaimer is because um, I'm a I am a Star Wars fan. But I'm not a fan of the current stuff, but I know some people are. Um, so I don't. Um, even though I absolutely think that the new Star Wars are bad, which I mean, the la the people who watch the first three Star Wars think the prequels are bad. So I don't want to be like that.
Though I, I honestly think that they could have done the, they could have done them in a way that, that they worked. I think, I think if they just like, re, if Disney just like reworked those movies a little bit, they could have, they could have really been like slam dunks. Like I honestly think instead of um, Ray being the Jedi, I think they should have made uh, what's his face Finn me the Jedi. I think Finn would have been a more interesting Jedi st stormtrooper to Jedi. And I mean, he was like the first person to, like wield the lightsaber, so. And I mean, it kind of just showed that his inexperience during that lightsaber fight with the, what, Stormtrooper, right? That other, or, I don't exactly know what to call them, because they're not, te they're not really Stormtroopers anymore, I guess, because they're with the, whatever it's called, the, the new faction. I guess you can't really call them Stormtroopers. They're not like the original Stormtroopers. And they have, like, different helmets and everything. I think the armor looks pretty pretty dope though. Lucas versus Disney. Yeah, I mean they brought on George Lucas now cuz they're kind of sitting in hot water for all their um, you know, badness, I guess. But I don't know why at this point, you know, so many people are just upset with it. I don't know why they just don't I mean, yes, it'd be like hundreds of millions of dollars down the drain, but I mean like they people didn't like them. I mean, there's people who like them. Don't get me wrong. There's people who like them, but just, you know, at this point, it's caused you so much of a headache. Just retcon it. <laughs> it's caused you so much of a headache. Just retcon the, the movies. Like, why even at this point, like, why do you just keep making, make stacking more stuff on top of movies that are unsuccessful that people don't like? Like, they were so unsuccessful, people boycotted the Solo movie. <laughs> and a lot of people, a lot of people argue that maybe it's like a galaxy, right? Like, cover some other stuff. Like, we don't need to cover, like, the Star, the Skywalker stuff. Like, we don't need to cover that stuff all the time. Like, look at the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian was completely separated from, from all that universe of stuff. Other, like, all those people completely separated for the most part. And other than like Ahsoka that came back, um, but completely separated on its own story, and it did so well. It did so well, and you know, I would have preferred they did some Lovecraftian horror with um, Abelos in the Maw, and did like a, a movie of really old Luke Skywalker killing Abelos in the Maw. That would have been such a great movie over Ray and all this reviving Palpatine and making a third Death Star kind of thing. A third and bigger Death Star because the first two didn't work, so let's make an even bigger one. I did like how they did like miniaturized De Death Star technology though. I thought that was pretty cool. Because I mean, that would be something the Empire would do. But I don't think they'd keep making Death Stars if they, would, especially larger and larger scales, if they just keep blowing, getting blown up, so easily. <laughs> okay, so we're actually gonna just gonna straight up start this war. Uh, actually, there is something I overlooked. We need more of these before we can start. A good decent amount. We're not going to make all those, we're just going to have some in reserve being made. The Clone Wars and the Bad Batch were amazing! The Clone Wars was absolutely amazing. I, I, my favorite arc of, of all of them was probably the Umbara arc, because because that's when it really starts getting dark when... Um, <coughs> I mean, this, this Clone Wars series grew up with the uh, the generation that started watching it is it slowly got dark over time but what people don't understand is uh, about star wars like in general when it comes to the clones like in the war when they drop first drop dropped in on geonosis in that second movie the clones were aged to adultness but their minds were in the age of teenagers so 
they blindly ran into combat and s suffered some of the most staggering losses of the entire war on the Geonosis on the Geonosian battlefield of the first battle of Geonosis. And so what happened was as the war went on, they, their minds started growing in age. So later towards the end of the war, uh, since they're technically, you know, uh, cloned humans, even though they have like, um, inhibitors and training to obey every order since they start their minds start growing up they start questioning orders more towards the end of the war especially with their jedi generals and they started feeling more resentment because of the blind following of them into battles like geonosis which would just blatantly get them killed when they were trained from birth to have combat knowledge in every situ situation possible and tactical knowledge in every situation possible So, I mean, that's why a lot of clones really didn't mind doing Order 66 was because they had grown resentment towards the Jedi because Jedi thought of themselves like as like immortal, like invincible people who just charge into combat, which would end up, you know, causing deaths upon all of the people like, you know. Uh, like all of the clones like recklessly because you know these jedi generals that are put in the position of general had no combat experience whatsoever like none no leadership experience no combat experience and it it actually ended up stabbing them in the back so um that's what happens i guess when the cards are put against you and they're kind of thrown they were thrown into the part of being generals from the battle on Geonosis because if they just like did that battle and then the Jedi just dropped their dropped it and said hey we're not participating anymore dude the Republic would have been furious would have been probably like treasonous probably okay so we need to target all of their okay we don't want to target any of this we want their air base their SAMs and their radars down first so their defenses are gone. Good, yeah, good soldiers follow orders. I mean, there were there were some like commandos that directly. Um, see, the more freedom they had, the more ability they had to resist the inhibitor chip. So that's why Rex was so easily able to. Um, hold off it for a much longer than other clones was because he had a lot more freedom. Uh oh. Here it goes. Boom. Okay, nuclear war mode. Okay, so they have some silos here that need to be targeted. Edit plan, add silo, uh, add Sam, 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 or buildings of any kind. And I did allow overkill, so they're gonna mass target these nuke sites so they can't shoot at me. Uh, where did I learn what about like the clones in in general? Uh, oh shoot, they have subs. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I do for subs that I really hate. I'm gonna return fire. You can't. Oh, fire, please. Please shoot. An SSBN? No. Just a regular sub with tomahawks? I don't know if ships had. They're firing from over there? I didn't even think of that. Fire at them, please. They're blowing up my city. What jerks? Okay, you're nuked now. You can't do anything. They have Mervs too. All right, so now what comes is we'll cancel this attack, edit plan. Yeah, so I did end up getting hit, but basically the way this works is you just take out 
whoever you're targeting is like defenses and then you can just wait and offenses and then you just you can pummel them like this hold on uh okay all cities targeted executing strike plan Yeah, I mean, I, I'm huge into Star Wars, so it's like, I know a bunch of that stuff, and and the thing is, you know, I mean, even the Mandalorian has errors in it. Don't get me wrong; like, there are there are times where the Mandalorian has errors in 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 the episodes, but they they try their hardest to follow the rules of the universe, so that's what makes it like so it's believable. Like, it's a good story. Also, with like you know characters that matter of course but granted the clones having the minds of teens going into genosis um well that was the thing with um with the growth hormones because technically the the clones going into genosis were like teenagers because with the with the with the accelerated aging uh i don't know if i should i should probably play like a i don't know accelerated aging with the accelerated aging they uh they would grow more, but their minds wouldn't grow with the accelerated aging. So, um, uh, when they first got deployed on Geonosis, they were, ha they did have the minds of teenagers. Um, other than, other than the clones that were more advanced, I, I believe, like, like the commandos, uh, the Alpha clones, which the Alpha clones weren't even deployed on Geonosis, they're deployed in the, uh, I think, like, first or second battle of Kamino. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do another one, but, but anyways, yeah, so, um, where did I learn the lore? Uh, gen I think it, the Generation Tech is a good one. Uh, hold on. I have to look up the other one because the other one is not as known. But uh, what I want that one of the most l things that I like most about the Star Wars universe is is the Maw and um, and Abeloth. And I wish there was more on it than there was for for reading. But but um, hold on. Let me look it up and I'll I'll tell you who I watch for my Star Wars. Whoops. Sorry, I'm, I just have a screen up, but I'll tell you. Apple. Let's see. I watch uh, Eckhart's Ladder. Uh, he does a really good job um, doing a lot of explanations and stuff. I, th I think it is, he, he just does a really good e and explana explaining, like, cool things about the universe that are just in like legends or in the books or, or whatever and definitely Abeloth is my my most favorite thing to focus on or star weirds star weirds are interesting too but uh eckhart's letter does more content than generation tech does so um they do it really good didn't all the clones become stormtroopers after the empire took over and if that's the case what happened to commander cody uh, so Commander Cody, as I think, became, I think he became a first generation death trooper, but I can't be certain on that. Uh, so the clones had, had a couple options. Uh, a lot of them divert, uh, a lot of them left after Order 6. I'll do one more game because we're talking about Star Wars and I'm excited. <laughs> uh, so let's see what we haven't done. We haven't done air combat. So we'll do a 1v1 to make air combat more usable. We'll do uh, Russia against Europe. I'll do Russia because someone said Russia last time. Uh, hold on. Let me set this up and we'll talk more about Star Wars. We're gonna do air air battle, but we still need to have a good defense for it. So uh, advanced aircraft, SAMs, ABM. Uh, okay, so we need to start with some air bases, and we'll do. All 
All right, we'll do Russia. Okay. Uh, yeah, Eckhart's ladder is what I what I do. So the clones didn't get de didn't all get decommissioned. They got two options. They could have uh, entered. Uh, they could have kept serving for the Empire, which had much better benefits to them. They actually treated the clones like humans instead of like you know robots, kind of. And not only that, um, not only that, the or they got retired with a retirement package, and it was a very handsome retirement package because the Empire didn't want the clones to be, because it'd be an absolute nightmare if the clones rebelled everywhere, all over, you know all over the their systems because the clones were heavily trained combat you know veterans like they're really good compared to their brand new stormtrooper cores which had zero experience whatsoever in combat it would have been a nightmare for for like rebellions to spring up with clone troopers so they the m uh sidious ensured tried to help ensure this by treating the clones better than the Republic did because then they would have felt like actual humans because towards the end of the war that's that's all the clones wanted was to be treated like actual people and they didn't get that so um, we're gonna go with stealth aircraft first and uh, uh, we're gonna need thermonuclear bombs actually no we're gonna need we actually do need some this stuff otherwise we're not gonna be able to defend at all but I guess we can have just straight up air superiority and just bomb everything yeah we'll do that and we'll do a wax and we'll build two more air bases actually no we'll do more than that we'll do three more air bases we need more SAMs to defend them more radars Okay. Uh, okay, let's look at chat again. Yeah, Eckhart's ladder is what I what I really use. Uh, yeah, they didn't. They did not trust. Uh, they did not trust the Kaminoans. A lot of the clones didn't. A lot of the clones hated the Kaminoans, even though they were their creators. But they still loved Kamino as their home, and they still consider it their home world. Yeah, so either the clone... Yeah, and some clones did straight up desert after Order 66. Like, they absolutely... They... Because they had zero control of their inhibitor chips, but after those started wearing off, they started actually getting conscious again and understanding that what they did. And a lot of clones felt violated. Like, they had no choice to do it, and, they, and some of them figured out what happened and... And, and left the military. Um, others had worst fates, like if they rebelled or something, they probably got executed for treason or, or something. Oh yeah, the, the Kaminoans definitely planted to... Uh, so the thing is, in canon, so if we actually go in Legends, if any of you played Star Wars Battlefront 2005, the old Star Wars Battlefront 2, uh, there was actually a clone rebellion that orchestrated by the Kaminoans after the Empire took over to try to ensure that they were free from the Empire's rule. But they didn't show that in the Bad Batch, which that might have happened, and maybe that's why they leveled the city. That might have been something that happened, but I don't know. Or maybe Namase does it after she joins the Empire. But, from what I remember, the the Clone Rebellion happens on Kamino. Ventress? I... Didn't she... 
die? No, wait, no, no, no. She dies with um, what's his face? It is in it is in like Legends or something. She does die. I don't, but it isn't in a show or anything. It's with um, it's with one of the characters we see in the show, but I forgot what his name is. She might show up in the Ahsoka series, I wouldn't put it past them. But, uh, it seems as though... Dude, it... Kathleen Kennedy is a problem with that series, I think. With the, the entire Star Wars thing. Like, she tries... Any kind of success, she tries to get in the way of it. And I don't... I can't tell if she's purposely just trying to sabotage the series. Same with, like, Ryan Johnson. Or, or what, but... Like, like, when she, like, she literally was, like, after Luke Skywalker made an appearance in, in The Mandalorian, like, she was pissed about it, because they absolutely trashed him in the movies, and, because they wanted him to be, like, a bad person, like, they did, they wanted him to be forgettable after that movie, The Last Jedi, or, or, the, or whatever, and, you know, um, uh, I forgot his name. But they brought him back. The, the directors uh, of uh, The Mandalorian brought him back to his fame, which you know, I'm very happy to have seen that. Uh, no, she wasn't captured. Uh, there was a Jedi who... Like, they died together or something. I forgot who it was or how or whatever, but... You, I think Eckhart's letter probably covers it. Um, I actually, I'm almost certain he does, because I, I, that's where I'm remembering it from. But it, don't... When you go to Eckhart's letter, um, look up, like, the, the obscure stuff. Like, like, the things you don't see. Like, um, like the Maw... Uh, uh, what are some other ones? Uh, the Uzong Von Vong War, which was like after the Empire and everything. Um, some other ones are like Center Point Station and and, and stuff. Uh, what are some other ones? The precursors to like the the Star Wars universe. The uh. I forgot. I, I forgot. I haven't watched a lot of this stuff recently. But. Have you seen the scene with the old Star Wars music overlaid with the visual? It made me tear up a bit. Yeah. I saw a. Someone took, like, the. Uh, took, like, a, a, a music remix of. Or not uh, like a sound remix from Star Wars: The Clone Wars, and put it in the intro for movie three, and it was amazing. I might have to maybe I don't know. Will I get in trouble if I link something like that in my chat? I have no idea. But I might I might throw it up before I leave, and you guys can check it out. But fan made it. It was incredible. Um, I might have to go find it. Okay, I think I'm done with Sam's. I don't need any more Sam's. I need radar sights. I have air superiority here. Where's my AWACS? Actually, wait, I don't even need my AWACS because there's the least Sam sites right there, which I need to bomb. Air combat over the skies. Air superiority is mine. How do I deselect this? I forgot to deselect. Uh, no, I don't want to bomb whatever that is. How do I... Oh, that's how I do it. Okay. Hey, 
AWACS overhead. I will, I, I'm gonna link it before I end the stream. I will link, I will go find and link that, what happened with that uh, intro to episode three. And you guys can go watch it after you're done here. It's a, it's a short clip, so it's only like 20 seconds or something, but it, it's definitely worth your time if you're a Star Wars fan. Um, you will probably tear up a bit with that one as well, if you tore up with, uh, with uh, the Luke scene. I do have to say though, there are parts with um, like the Star Wars movies that I just cringe at, like like Anakin in the prequels is, other than episode or movie one, is absolute cringe. <laughs> like it's just, it's just so bad. It's just it's just bad. I'm sorry, but but that doesn't make me look overlook the fact that the, that like the, like story wise the movies are good. Story wise are good. Um, air lot ALBMs. Like I hate that this is locked behind so much time. ALBMs, air launch ballistic missiles. Also, you have to get tactical nuclear weapons to be able to use it. It's just it's stupid. But we need to research this, and then we can stop research. I also want 50 megaton bombs. The Tsar Bomba. Now we'll just go thermal nuclears. I have not read any of the Legends books. That's the thing. I, I've only I've only watched Eckhart's letter, so but he I think in most of the things he he will reference the books, I believe. Like if he he's playing direct quotes, he will reference which books it's in. So that's what's also good about him. So you can actually go find it yourself if you don't know where it is. Uh, let's build up some extra spiders, extra bombers, for when we lose some planes. Oh, I think my plane just went off and crashed somewhere. here buddy what do you see oh they just shut down my AWAX jerks She just flew off and crashed. It was nice to see Starbucks on screen on screen again. <laughs> Starbuck. Oh. Okay, you need to die. You will not have any defenses to keep me from bombing your cities.
<laughs> They're like wasps. They won't go away. Rogue One was really good. Rogue One was amazing. <laughs> the one movie that Disney made that was good. Sadly. The one movie that Disney made that was good. I think all those bombers just went and crashed somewhere. Like they're gonna like crash when they run out of fuel. Ba -ba 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 Alright, uh, we need to start making bombs. Uh, I'm holding shift. Start bombing. Getting these bombs out. Yeah, I mean, the Clone Wars is something that that I like a lot. Okay, another thing, another thing I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to complain about when it comes to Star Wars. Star Wars Battlefront Two from EA. Okay, the only reason why I dislike that game is because you have characters outside of their historical area playing kind of i guess that was kind of a thing in star wars battlefront 2 but for the most part they try in 2005 classic they tried their best to keep it like to who who was in those areas like they didn't have darth vader on like tatooine like fighting in the middle of the clone wars like it, it just didn't happen you didn't have that um but um with Star Wars Battlefront 2 EA edition, you have like Rey fighting on the battlefield against like clones, which is like, it's, it's just ri ridiculous. I think that's so stupid. And everyone would be like, oh no, that's awesome. Like, oh, oh dude, oh, it's awesome. Yeah, but like, you know, Rey was never on the battlefield for the Clone Wars. I, I, she wasn't, sorry. <laughs> like. It didn't happen. Sorry to burst your bubble, but it didn't happen. Alright, time to bomb them, I think. We have enough bombs. We have enough bombs to kill everything. Yeah, maybe I'll do like a run through of classic Battlefront 2 or something. Why are you only targeting those? You have 36 bombers I don't have overkill on. Allow overkill, select best config. Uh, you're not using the bombs that I just made, but. Yeah, I might do like a run through of like the classic Battlefront 2 and then do like the campaign or whatever. Empire at War. I've played Empire at War and then some it has workshop on Steam and some people have actually gone through and made Clone Wars mods for the game. Uh, I love Empire at War and I wish they'd remaster it. But I mean, uh, I mean con some people on on Steam have done it done it already but LucasArts take care of your games bye bye to all your cities buddy Europe is gone
I'm not gonna have enough bombs to finish the game. Well, I, I will, but the game timer's going, but still. Hit! <laughs> yes, Rob, you're right on point there. EA is the Disney equivalent in the gaming world. <laughs> they are. Though it's starting to seem like, um, well, yeah, they produce stuff that looks that looks nice, but when you get down to it, it's not nice. <laughs> but anyways, this this has been a pretty late night stream. Um, my next stream will probably be tomorrow night. Actually, it will be tomorrow night. I'll have another stream. So I will see all of you then. Thank you for dropping in with your amazing uh, personalities and and Star Star Wars jazz. Uh, for any of oh wait no I'm gonna post that. Hold on, don't leave yet. I'm gonna post that. Uh, I'm gonna find that link, or the clip or whatever. Hold on, I gotta go find it, and I'll put it in the. Uh, Wars movie. Let's see if I can find it. Alternate fan edit. I think this was it, but hold on, I need to mute it to ensure that I don't. Uh, hold on, I need to mute OBS des desktop so you, so it isn't copyrighted. <laughs> I think. Hold on, I hope this is. All right, hold on just a second. I I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this. All right, okay, I'm dropping this to you guys in the in the chat because this is amazing. All right, check any of you Star Wars fans out there, check out that video. Uh, just you just have to listen to like the first like maybe 30 seconds because it's like the rest is just like the normal Star Wars video. But like, uh, check that out. It's like a fan made intro to to movie three and i thought it was pretty cool but anyways uh thank you for stopping by and watching uh me play some icbm and and chat up about star wars and and youtube and and everything it's well appreciated uh thank you for anyone who has subscribed we i will be doing a another video tomorrow or another stream tomorrow uh all of you regulars tampa rob uh operation and uh many more Please keep coming back. Uh, I always enjoy the company. And uh, I'll see you later. Peace.